Well, let's get more on this now with Majub Zwayri in Doha. He's the director of the Gulf Studies Centre at Qatar University. Really good to have you back with us, uh, Majub. Uh, let's talk more about these ongoing truce talks in Cairo. We're hearing conflicting reports about progress that's being made or lack of progress, according to Hamas. What's your understanding as to the status of these talks? Are the two sides making any progress at all at this stage? What appears um, that the Israelis are in not in a good position considering three facts. One, the unexpected withdrawal from uh, Khan Yunus. Second, the unexpected Biden pressure on them. And thirdly, the unexpected um, uh, demonstrations to go to that level in, inside Israel as we see it. So those are and three unexpected, three major events are shaping basically the, the position of Israel. On the other side, Hamas itself has a very clear plan, four main you know, uh, elements, the withdraw uh, of the Israeli from the whole uh, Gaza tribe. Secondly, the return of the Gaza to the north. And secondly, the humanitarian to be increased rapidly. And also the, the, which, the, the fourth one, which is the building Gaza. So what we see now that it seems that the Americans are convinced that the return of Gaza to the north is a must, uh, and Hamas will not give any concession unless this has not been met. So it seems that the uh, director of CIA proposal ha is focusing on that element. We are have we have no details yet. How much how uh, for for how, how much they are detailed the proposal, but it seems that the focus on this. The second element, um, it's obvious that there is an increasing number of the humanitarian aid, Israelis media and, and the government tries to avoid this mentioning in the media because they don't want pressure from the, uh, uh, the, the radical voices inside Israel. But according to the reports today, there are more trucks getting into Gaza. However, this is the minimum. They, the Americans, they talk about 300 to 350 uh, 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 trucks a day. Uh, we have to remember that previously, Gaza used to receive 500, and this was the minimum of the Gazan people. So still, this is are not meeting the expectation and the need of Gazan who are facing the famine basically 100%. Yes, and I want to bring your attention to the reports we're receiving. So these reports uh, have been given to a Qatari media outlet citing Egyptian sources saying that uh, a proposal by the US has in fact been submitted to Israel and Hamas. Now, this proposal reportedly calls for a temporary, a six-week temporary pause in the fighting, uh, which will see the release of some 40 hostages held by Hamas and the partial return of displaced civilians to northern Gaza. Again, these are reports at this stage citing Egyptian sources. Uh, what are your views on that? Do you think uh, that proposal that's reportedly come from Washington is something that both sides might seriously consider? You know, let me remind you and the viewers that the Hamas proposal was basically suggesting that 126 of a truce on three stages. The first one is basically six weeks, um, and those six weeks uh, should lead to uh, uh, bring more uh, Gaza to go to the north uh, without any kind of limitation, and also releasing some of the uh, uh, captives. So what what I see now, based on what you have uh, said, is uh, there is there is more focus on the six weeks that Hamas already accepted that, but Hamas wants to make sure that there is no limitation on move, the Palestinian move from south to the north. They don't want the brigade which already left in Gaza, as we know from yesterday, that this the, the main task of that brigade now left in Gaza is to ban to prevent. Palestinians to go to the north. If there is a facilita facilitating on bringing Gaza easily to the north, I think this would be a step toward more, uh, I would say, uh, positive moves on the on the on the uh, negotiation. Because the time that because Hamas wants more humanitarian Gaza to go back to the north and also wants to a ceasefire, um, a, a per, uh, you know, a, a short term leads to a permanent. If this is the scenario, I think this will this will work, uh, and uh, we should have after 126 days, according to this Hamas proposal, we should have 
uh, permanent ceasefire, which basically truce that you know should not lead to any kind of uh, uh, military uh, uh, actions. Okay, Majub Zwayri, we will have to leave it there, but it's always really good to get your analysis. Thanks again for joining us. My pleasure, anytime. Thank you.